Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today we are talking rigging and fishing a finesse Z-Man plastic. That plastic being the Z-Man two inch crusties. So the two inch crusties, it's a crustacean bait, it's a creature bait. What is it? Is it a beetle, a water beetle? Is it a, a crab? Is it a shrimp? You know, what is this thing? Is it, a, is it an insect? That's the thing with creature baits is they often don't try to exactly mimic something that fish will eat, but they try to have lots of strike triggers on them that will attract the attention and trigger strikes from fish. So on this little plastic, we've got our two little claws, we've got legs, we've got that profile shape that would match a range of different species, some little antenna. So there's lots of triggers on there that'll attract the attention of the fish and convince them to eat it. Like we've said before, fish don't have hands. So the only way that they can suss out what this is, is to pick it up in their mouth. And being such a little bite-sized snack, if they pick up this plastic, the hook is there waiting for them. So that is our Crusties 2-inch from Z-Man. Colour-wise, we've got a pretty compact range of colours, and they're very natural colours to, to mimic what this creature is. You know, it's a natural creature that wants to blend into its environment. So those colours are very natural colours in that range. And we've got our lighter colours for those bright conditions like that greasy prawn. We've got some dark colors like that pumpkin for that darker, dirtier water. And there's also a selection of UV reactive colors in there, like the watermelon red, the motor oil, and the gudgeon. So they'll react to UV light if you're looking for something that pops a bit more that the, attracts the attention of the fish. So a good range of colors there to suit what we want to catch. What does this thing catch? It catches a bunch of different species. It's an absolute gun plastic on brim. So especially the canal and flats and shallow water guys chasing brim, love this little crusties. So brim is one target species that you'll catch on them. Flathead, estuary perch, bass, redfin, trout, uh, all sorts of species will eat it. It's caught some pretty decent snapper and a range of different species. So anything that will eat a smaller profile plastic is gonna have a crack at this little crusties. Key thing to remember with that plastic, when you get it out of the packet, the claws on the two inch crusties are joined together. So to get maximum action out of our crusties, we wanna pop those two claws apart. And basically that gives us a nice little bulky body that's worth the fish eating. And on the end of it, it's got, ends up with two little curl tails. And those little claws are basically like two little curl tails that will give it action in the water, act like it's swimming. So we can fish it light, right up near the surface around the pontoons, we can fish it across the flats, we can pause it, we can get that natural buoyancy of the Z-Man to stand up like a little claws up from a crab on the bottom defending itself. So it really is an attractive little plastic. In terms of rigging it, one popular way to rig it is on the hidden weight system jig heads. So the TT Lewis HWS. So the hidden weight system, as we've seen on some of our other videos, the weight is on the shank of the hook. So basically, when we rig that plastic on that hidden weight system, the weight is completely hidden inside the plastic. So all we've got poking out is our eye where we tie our line and the point of the hook, basically the top section of the hook. So if a fish comes near that, puts it in their mouth, there's a pretty good chance they'll find the hook and it presents extremely naturally. And it's great for fishing higher in the water column because you've got that real slow, natural horizontal sink. So for those that are fishing pontoons for brim, the hidden weight system is a very, very popular way to rig that crusties. It allows you to just flick that, skip it in really well, skip that plastic in, and just allow it to slow sink underneath that pontoon or along the edge of the pontoon. And of course the brim are up feeding underneath that pontoon like an upside down reef. So they're up there picking around, eating what's on there. This little guy just looks like a crab or something that's come away from underneath the pontoon, lost its grip, drift away and boom, they'll just swim in and eat that thing. So in terms of hook sizes, on that TT hidden weight system. I've got it here rigged on a number two and also rigged on a number one. It rigs perfectly on both of those hooks. And that two is available in a two and a two H and the one in a one and a one H and the H being heavy wire. So that is a slightly heavier hook on that heavy compared to that standard HWS hook. So if you're chasing really, really light line, really finesse fishing, you may want to go without the heavy. If you've got to extract fish from structure a bit more, you may opt for that heavy hook. But they're a Gamma Katsu Black Nickel chemically sharpened hook, so both very, very sharp. So that's rigged on our size two, 
and rigged on our size one, which is perfect in that hidden weight system. So flicking up around mangrove edges, flicking around pontoons, fishing really shallow water and, and especially tight to structure where you want it to look like something that's come away and, and is just drifting down. It's lost its grip on the structure and making for an easy target for big brim and those sorts of things. From there, we rig it on our standard jig head, which for our Z-Man tent home stuff, elastic plastics, we go with those headlocks jig heads from TT. And basically that headlock is the gap in the, between the grub keeper and the head, and it's designed to lock that plastic in place. So we slide that plastic up, once it goes into that gap, it locks on there nice and tight and doesn't slide back down the jig head. So on our finesse and our HD, our headlocks, you can see there the difference as we've discussed. The 2L in this case here, so we've got an L for light wire on our finesse, and we've got a H for heavy wire on our HD. We've got our colors reversed as well to make it easier for you to pick them out on the shelf. And it also says finesse or it says HD on the packaging as well. So our light blue on top, black on the bottom for our finesse, black on top, blue on bottom for the HD. And in our finesse, this two inch crusties rigs really well on a number two and a number one. And that's a fine wire black nickel, chemically sharpened hook. That's a gamma katsu hook, super sticky. And that allows you to get that head down, claws up, sort of sink. You can still fish that around the pontoons and that sort of thing, but you're gonna be swimming down away from the fish a bit quicker. So this is the preferred option where you do want that sink, you want that impulse bite from the fish where you're getting it in there, you want that reaction bite. And also for hopping it across the flats, fishing the shallow drains, everywhere else where you might find brim, flathead, fishing for your trout, fishing for your redfin, that sort of thing. So I've got it there on a 1 16th in a two and a 1 12th in a size one. And you can see that size one ends up a fair way back down the body of the plastic there, leaving our claws to flick around, but putting that hook right at the back end of the plastic. So that one's about as big as you want to go with that finesse. And then we step up to the HD, so the Headlock's HD in this two inch crusties. And we've got it there on a four heavy, and we've got it there on a two heavy. And that two heavy places it right down the back there again. So. Why might I go from the finesse to the HD? That finesse is perfect for really light line, really finesse, and then you step up to the HD if you've got to get that fish away from structure. If you need to put a bit more herd on, then we go for that HD, that headlock's HD. So there's a couple of options there. That's our size four and our size two in a HD. You can see that presents really nicely. There's plenty of meat in that body for you to get the hook in and for the fish to get the bite on. And underneath there, the body of the plastic is keeled as well, which helps it run nice and straight. Uh, also when you're weedless rigging, which we'll talk about a bit later on. So that's our HD in a two, uh, in a four and a two heavy. One of my favorite ways to rig this little plastic is on the Ned locks. So TT Lewis Ned locks. So Ned rig fishing this plastic. Basically that utilizes the mushroom shaped head of the Ned locks and that gives you a really good stand up presentation. So stands that plastic up nice and quickly. So in this case here, I've got it on the 1 15th ounce size two and that's on a black head, black and green pumpkin are really nice with a dark colored plastic, dirty water, fishing around the weed, that sort of thing for a very natural presentation. And that's on our size two and then our size one on our one tenth, and again, that's about as big as you want to go in this plastic. That's poking out right near the back end there. I've got that on a one tenth in the orange, and I've teamed the orange up with the greasy prawn color, which is an excellent yabby imitation. We've got that orange of the yabby, and then that greasy prawn color is a very natural yabby looking saltwater nipper, saltwater yabby presentation. So that's our Ned rig fishing. So if, when fishing this plastic, you're really wanting to be working on the bottom because you, rely, you really want to utilize that stand up that you have with that Ned Rig fishing. So it's that, that quick hinging between fleeing, trying to get away, and then the paws kick those claws up in a defensive pose, and that attracts fish and it triggers strike. So with that, with that Ned Rig set up, it's working for you all the time. It's either fleeing, defending, fleeing, defending, boom, attracts the attention of the fish, and they want to come and kill it. So there you go, that's our Ned Rig. Great for fishing sandy patches, drains, uh, picking the pockets in the weed, broken weed beds and that sort of thing. That's a really, really good presentation. Uh, another option, if you're looking for a painted head option like those Nedlocks, you can also utilize that Demons head. And that TT Demons has 3D eyes, so it gives you a completely different look on that plastic. 
and it's a great one for slow swimming this plastic as well because you've got those eyes you've got all that action out, out the back end but it's a really really nice subtle swimming presentation for things like bass and that sort of thing hop it across the weed catch your brim catch your flathead but yeah really really popular in the fresh water as well that option with those eyes on there and that's a size one so i've got it on a one sixth one there's also a quarter ounce one if you're wanting to fish that two inch crusties on that demons jig head another interesting presentation that the bass guys use you catch other species as well red fin that sort of thing but is to rig the revlock so that's a tt lewis revlocks jig head so that's our jig head with the blade underneath so the weight on there pulling down helps to keel that the taper of the head keeps keep, keeps that keeled as well while that blade's running there so that's a one eighth two so you can see that's a it's a tiny little head nice little size hook to fit that plastic and that willow under there so we've got the longer thinner narrower blade and that's a that's a willow blade and we've got it in nickel here so it comes in sil silver nickel also in a gold and the gold is often preferred in the dirty water dark tannin water and that sort of thing the silver in clearer water and bright conditions but you can mix it up depending on what you need also here i've got it on a one eighth one and that's got the gold colorado there so you can see a bit more thump and vibration from that rounder blade that colorado blade compared to the willow so that's a really cool thing you can swim that critter around you can hop it off the bottom and that sort of thing and that blade will create additional flash and vibration while still being a fairly subtle presentation as well so you don't have the aggressive presentation like a spinner mate and that sort of thing we've got that subtle blade action we've got those two little claws flapping away and that's another way that you can present that two inch crusties that's on a one eighth number two I've got it there and also on a one eighth number one, just mixing up those blades between gold and silver, willow and Colorado. So a quick way to add flash and vibration to your plastic with that Revlox jig head. And then another way that we can rig this plastic just to mix it up and present it in other ways and in other areas is to fish it weedless. So as I mentioned earlier, the belly of this plastic, the belly shape is actually keeled, which really helps when you're running this thing unweighted and weedless so you know there's a deadly little presentation that's a chin locks tt lewis chin locks so it's unweighted but it does have that lock mechanism in the front there to hold that plastic on the hook so you can cast it hard you can twitch it you can do whatever you need to do and that plastic's not going to slide down that weedless hook so that's the tt chin locks in a size four light that's a chin locks finesse and that keeled plastic, the keel design will help that run nice and straight while those two little claws are flapping away at the back. So that's a really cool presentation for buzzing across the surface. Your weed flats in the salt for all different sorts of species. Uh, fishing you know, over lilies and around weed and structuring that in the fresh for species such as bass. So a really, really good finesse surface presentation. And I've also got it there on a 2L as well, a Chinlox finesse in a size 2. So size four, size two, and you've got enough weight in there that you can throw it on a light spin combo and fish for bass in those small creeks and that sort of thing. It's a, a really, really nice little finesse presentation. Those two little claws flap away, create the surface disturbance, attract the fish, boof, fish on. So that's unweighted. We've also got the option of running our TT Lewis Snake Locks finesse. So again, we've got our worm hook, We've got our keeper to lock that plastic in place and stop it sliding down. And now we've got the option of adding weight to the front of this plastic so that we can fish it deeper, we can get it down in the weed, in the snags, in amongst that structure. So we've still got that benefit of a weedless presentation so we can run it through structure. Doesn't take much for the fish to move that plastic and find the hook. And being a snake locks, we've got the ability to clip that front head weight off and on. So if we want, we can clip it off buzz this across the surface. If we want to change it up, we can clip it back on and we've got that weight on there, that head weight to get it down into that snag. So in this case here, I've got it on a 1 12th in a four in a snake locks finesse. So that's a beautiful little lightweight, slow sink presentation and be, being naturally buoyant, that elastic plastic, this is also gonna stand up off the bottom of the crusties and wave its claws around. So it's gonna, you can hop it along and swim it along and then you can pause it and that plastic will stand up and attract the attention of the fish again, like it's naturally defending itself. So that's in the four and I've also got it here in a one eighth in a two light in that snake locks finesse. 
an excellent weedless presentation. Whether you're, whether you're hopping it across the flats, weed flats and that sort of thing for flathead and brim, or whether you're chasing bass in amongst the lilies in weed and other structure. So there you go, that is our two inch crusties. In terms of scent, there's some great scents that really, really suit that plastic. So our blue crab, you know we might be running this as a crab imitation, so the blue crab is excellent. Shrimp, we've also got a crawfish, which is great for in the freshwater. Uh, your garlics, your aniseeds, and also an inch or salt water if you're looking for another salt water. But there's a couple of examples there, blue crab and shrimp. That scent, Procure Super Gel scent, will mask any foreign odours that you've got on your hands, such as soap or sunscreen or fuel, while also having those bite stimulants, amino acids, UV enhancement, also real ground bait in there as well. So everything to attract the fish and trigger strikes, while also masking those foreign scents that you may already have on your hands. So there you go. That is our little Z-Man 2-inch crusties, 10 times tough creature or crustacean bait, appeals to a stack of species including brim, bass, trout, jungle perch, estuary perch, all sorts of species will eat it. Even snapper like to snack on this little bite size creature. So there you go, two inch crusties, check it out at your local Z-Man dealer. All the best with the fishing.